This morning, the battle at the border is heating up. The U.S. has temporarily closed a Mexican port of entry after migrants attempted to bypass police near San Diego. ABC correspondent Lana Zak has more. A tense situation on the U.S.-Mexico border. Migrants from Central America breaking through Mexico's police lines in Tijuana, pushing past Mexican authorities in riot gear to climb over barricades and surge into the no-man's land between the U.S. and Mexico. U.S. Customs and Border Agents responding with tear gas, temporarily closing the San Ysidro port of entry to all people on both sides of the border. The situation has been threatening to boil over for some time now. Tijuana's mayor has called the hundreds of migrants waiting there a humanitarian crisis. During a protest along the border on Sunday, some tried to appeal to President Trump. This sign reading, Mr. Trump, help us please. Another saying, Mr. Trump, we hate you not. Their future uncertain as President Trump has tried to change the process for these migrants hoping to seek asylum in the U.S. We will close entry into the country for a period of time until we can get it under control. For the entire border? The whole border. I mean the whole border. Overnight, President Trump commenting about immigration and the criticism of his administration for separating children from their parents. Tweeting, I tried to keep them together, but the problem is when you do that, vast numbers of additional people storm the border. 39 people were arrested, and now the Mexican government says that they will immediately deport all those individuals who tried to violently cross over. Lana Zak, ABC News, Washington.